All right, Rob Nelson here. We're gonna walk you through the Alpine Tundra. Alpine Tundra. Now this is a really special biome for me because I was born here in the mountains of Colorado. This is where I grew up. Here I am. Right at the edge of the timberline. You know, it wasn't until I was older that I actually learned how special this biome actually is. Now to understand the biome though, we're gonna have to step back and we're gonna have to put everything in perspective for you. Now the first thing you have to understand is that this biome, like all biomes, are defined by the dominant vegetation. Now in this case it's actually really easy to define because we're looking in a zone that doesn't have any trees. Now if you notice where I am right now, I'm right at the edge of the alpine tundra because there are a few trees popping up you know, here and there, but it's up there in the mountains that you find the true alpine tundra. And, and biomes all fit along a gradient. From deserts to the forest to the alpine tundra, you know, things gradate into each other. And in fact, the alpine tundra is one of the few areas where there's a very sharp line. And if you look out at these mountains, you can see tree line very clearly. It's about 11,500 feet. Now, the neat thing about the alpine tundra is they can be found anywhere in the world. In fact, we've climbed mountains on the equator, like in Kenya. Right now, we're about to hike up Mount Kenya. This is the equator, right here. Southern hemisphere. Northern Hemisphere, <laughs> Southern Hemisphere, Northern. And while you start this equatorial climb in the rich forest, it doesn't take long to ascend up into the cooler alpine zone. All of us are slightly freezing right now. I can't quite stop shivering yet. Above treeline here, the plants and animals are very different to what we know back at home, yet they do share a lot of similar traits. This guy's that glitch. <laughs> All right, now we got that out of the way, let's look at some of the adaptations that the plants and animals that live here have that allow them to survive in this habitat. Plant adaptations. All right, now the very first thing that you'll notice is there are no tall plants. Everything is short, and that's to help protect them from the desiccating action of the wind. And in fact, it's really windy right now. Second thing is that most of the plants up here are perennial. That means they're here year after year. It's just too short of a growing season for plants to really rely on trying to grow up from a seedling every single year, so there are very few annuals. Next thing that you might notice is that a lot of the plants around here actually have quite a bit of hair growing on the stems or leaves. And now the hair does two things. First of all, the sun is really harsh and it helps protect the plant, uh, but it also holds in heat you know, from that plant because we are in a harsh uh, habitat right here. Animal adaptations. Now, as far as animals go, there's not a lot of animals that make this their home. There are some animals like the bighorn sheep, some bears, and elk, which actually migrate up into the alpine habitat in the summer months to find food. And of the few year-round residents, they have marmots, which are the larger squirrels, and we have pikas, which are actually relatives of rabbits, even though they have very shortened ears, which help to keep heat in their body um, in these very cold conditions up here. Now the alpine tundra in itself is actually a fragile habitat. Uh, that's why when you're hiking up here you want to stay on trails. And areas that are disturbed take a really long time to grow back. So there you have it, the alpine tundra. Thanks for watching, subscribe to our videos, and remember this is just one of a whole series of biome videos that we're putting out. You can click on the playlist right down here which shows all the different ones in case you're studying you know, biomes in school or something. Or if you really want the best source of biomes, then you can find some of the links in our description below to our Untamed Science and the Wild Classroom Biomes portals. Alright, see you guys next time.